a lot of pollution is caused by traffic. Exhaust fumes contain tiny particles of solid carbon, which is why it looks black. These can give you health problems like asthma when you breathe them in. There are also gases you can't see, including sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxides. Even just a short five mile trip from school produces about 500 grams of CO2. CO2 makes up a small proportion of our atmosphere, but it is a powerful greenhouse gas. Bye. Bye. This means it traps heat in the Earth's atmosphere. London has 184,000 vehicles entering its congestion zone every day. Even if they only travel five miles each, they will produce more than 90 million grams of polluting CO2. With so much pollution entering the atmosphere, many people think we should find ways to discourage driving by introducing congestion zones, for example, or raising the taxes on petrol and diesel. Another approach to reduce pollution is to use cleaner fuels. One such fuel is hydrogen, created here by the reaction of a metal in acid. We know that hydrogen burns explosively in air, but there are other ways it can be used to release energy. Companies all over the world are competing to develop a fuel cell that uses hydrogen to generate electricity. Automotive manufacturers are investigating alternatives to fossil fuels. Much like your traditional cars today, you can refuel a fuel cell with a hydrogen tank in a matter of minutes. A hydrogen fuel cell is very much like an engine in that it converts a fuel into energy. But on a traditional combustion engine, there's no burning involved. In a fuel cell, in an electrochemical reaction, it combines a hydrogen molecule with an oxygen molecule, producing water, electricity and heat. A fuel cell uses hydrogen gas to generate electricity. It splits hydrogen molecules into negatively charged electrons and positively charged protons. The protons can pass through the membrane in the middle of the cell, but the electrons are forced to take a different route, creating an electrical current. Once they reach the other side of the cell, the protons and electrons combine with oxygen from the air to form water molecules. Fossil fuels that we're traditionally using today are running out. And climate change is dictating we have to start reducing our emissions. When using a fuel cell in a vehicle,